26, 2008. And we're finally going to get into our family room. Now we're already working here where we've taken off the popcorn off the ceiling. And um, joint compound all the seams and smooth that all out so it's ready to be textured. Also, I put some recessed lighting in, put six lights in in here. So that's, uh, the ceiling's ready to go to be uh, textured and paint. And the wall uh, is also ready to be textured and paint. But first of all, we're going to come over here to this wall and I'm going to take out this window and I'm take out all the drywall uh, wall board off the, uh, this wall here. We bought a fireplace that's going to go right where this window is here. So I'm going to be uh, putting a hole in the wall and making a framing outside. It's going to be exciting, I think, because I've never done that before. And we're going to have two windows on uh, both sides of the fireplace. So I have to make framing for that also. So I'm going to start now and start tearing apart the uh, wall board off and get ready for that because our fireplace is coming in a few days and so I'm going to get started on all the things I can do. So exciting time. We're getting to our final room and once we get this done, we could uh, paint and then we could uh, get um, our floors done and we'll be finished. Right, now, um, so who knows how long. Got the uh, wall board taken off the walls. You can see that. So, my next project is taking out this window and building a frame right down here for the fireplace. So, here we go. And now I'm going to uh, take the window out. So, the first thing I take the slider out, that's the easy part. Now, in my screwdriver, there's little bracket things in here that hold the centerpiece in. And uh, just got to pry those loose and on the bottom. And uh, now, that should have been what was holding the centerpiece in there. Hopefully. There we go. And now this window should... No window. So now I gotta raise the board here to about this height, take out the boards down at the bottom, and reframe it. And uh, after I have that, then I'll tear the wall out in the back to build the casing for the back. I got my framing on the outside or the inside uh, all finished. You can see. Got the spot for the fireplace to slip right in there, plus I put in um, new um, framing on the outside. Then on the outside, I put in a, uh, a foundation and a base. I take them and uh, put these bolts down in the stud, so that's going to stay secure and um, ready to slip the fireplace in, which today it came. So we're excited. And also came all these parts. So I have a challenge ahead. It's Thursday, July 10th. So it's been a couple of weeks that I've been working on this project. And let's see where we're at now. Well, look at this. The fireplace is in its position with the framing around it. I have the windows uh, frame 
waiting for them. It's going to be two weeks before they come, but I have it all framed. So I'll have to just cut out the wall and put them in. And uh, over here, I already uh, put up wall board and have half of that done. So um, make a little progress. Also, I got this uh, Neato remote control that um, I don't have the gas hooked up yet, but I do have these uh, lights on there that uh, gives it the effect almost like it uh, has a fire. So um, we're doing good outside. Let's take a look out here. Um, outside of building my casing, framing to go around the outside and I filled up the hole that the window was at and put my first coat of uh, stucco on here. So I'm leaving for the weekend, so I come back, I'm going to start working on that. So we're making. Okay, it's uh, July 20th and um, I've been progressing along. There's been some uh, marathons and some family trips we've taken, so I haven't been on this every day. But uh, as it is now, I have the wall board up and on. I put in one window right here. And I'm about to do the other window over here. I got the back side covered with uh, plastic because outside we're going to cut away. See, I put in the one window here. And um, I'm getting ready to use my saw and go through the stucco here and uh, cut out a hole here to put in the other window. See a hole out of the wall, as you can see. And ready to uh, get the door and hopefully it fits right in there. And then we'll... Uh, a month and a half has gone by and we didn't do very much because of uh, one, we had to hook up a gas line and two, uh, things were going on at the Corona Life Center that we were helping out for a couple of weeks and uh, marathons in there and um, things like that. So, But uh, just yesterday, I had finally paid for guys to come and they put in a gas line. So uh, the first thing I didn't get to do on the remodeling. So they hooked up the gas and um, I took down the wall boards and stuff so they could do that. And um, so now let's see what happens when we uh, hit the remote. Oh my goodness, there's a fire. And um, it works. So uh, now I'll have to put the wall board back on. Um, and then Sherry do her magic of uh, doing the joints. Uh, we'll put a, uh, a case around the, the windows, casing around the windows, and also uh, casing around the uh, fireplace. And then we'll be able to paint this room and uh, go on to the final stage of our remodeling. So we finish with uh, getting the wall all set to go. The fireplace is installed and working. Uh, the two windows are in. The casing around the windows uh, are uh, there. And casing around the door also. So uh, now Sherry's doing her mudding to get the walls all smooth here. And she's doing a good job of that. So when she finishes that and the ceiling, then I could go ahead and texture and paint. And the other thing that was uh, a job to do was making the outside, which I'm kind of uh, proud of my achievement here, made this uh, outside uh, chimney. This is the, uh, the air vent. And um, so that came out pretty good. And uh, everything's functioning and working. So now, um, since we get the uh, mudding done and the texture and the painting, uh, this room will be uh, done and uh, 
then from there we'll get ready to do the floors. This is the last thing I did was making a mantle and we did this all from scratch and made uh, our own design. We found these tiles and um, went with that. We liked it. Sherry did a lot of the fine tuning when I did the uh, crown molding around. So at the end, um, it came out pretty good. I was really proud of this. And um, again, just goes to show you, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Thank you.